So a little teeny bird told me that you are a real blogger or you have always been desiring to own a blog. And that's why I'm making this video, right? So I have been blogging since 2009. If you didn't know, do know. And I have blogged four different niches. I started where, with my writing and editing blog in 2009. In 2013, I started to blog about celebrity news if you knew just about for a year. That was a period that um, Two Faced Idibia got married. And I still remember that Two Faced Idibia's wedding vows that I posted was the, had the highest clicks for over three years. I had to go post the <laughs> blog post at the time because I had to change niche again. So the third niche I blogged was CEOs in Nigeria. In my country, I started interviewing people who own companies, who lead at the organizations, and it was such a great, great niche. I also went ahead to start blogging about men empowerment, exactly what I am doing on my men channel on YouTube. I started doing it on my channel as well. And that was the very last channel um, niche I have been on, right? And I can tell you for free that blogging is such a fulfilling and exciting venture. I loved every bit of it. I say loved because I actually retired my blog temporarily in October of 2001 and I'm about to come back, you know, on it. It is going to be, okay, so a year plus now, but I'm definitely going to go back to blogging. But I have a few tips for you. Just before I go back, I have a few things that I already have planned that I'm going to do better while blogging. So by 2001, it was already more than a decade of me blogging. By the way, if you didn't know, I had such a brand from 2013. I was running a training for bloggers, you know, for people who want to become bloggers. And my academy was so successful if i say so myself i also had a party a bloggers party that i held in my city in abuja in nigeria for a couple of five years between 2013 the last episode was 2017 yeah so those years had me bring together industry experts and all of that so i'm just saying that to say that i have quite some experience when it comes to the blogging industry especially in nigeria okay and particularly in my city in Abuja. Of course, you know, across board. I have also toured my country, training people on social media management, organizations, and more. So I can tell you that I am sure that if you decide to start blogging today with the right guide, you will definitely make it. If you start blogging today with the right guide, with the right content, with the right knowledge of search engine optimization, and give yourself some time, at least one whole year, you are definitely going to make it. And that's why I'm bringing these 22 lucrative niches, 22 lucrative blog niches that you should choose from if you decide to finally start that blog. Now, these are topical blogs. I do not typically encourage an individual or individuals to start blogs that are, you know, news, um, all of that. I encourage people to start niche blogs. That is blogs who are focused on particular topics. So they can become authorities on those topics easily. Even business owners, because your services and your products are also in a particular line, even if you, your services are in a wide range, you can still create a niche out of what it is that you do and create that using your blog. Okay, so it will help you get more leads to help you become an authority and more but not going into the benefits of blogging i just want to run through these 22 topics or niches that if you start your blog on i'm sure you are going to make it and again don't just run off with any topic because i said it you also have to make sure that it's a topic that you are experienced in you are well researched about you love you totally are passionate about and more yeah so your knowledge is what will sustain you you know on the days when you're investing upfront that you're not making any money yet to, to keep at it until you, you break through because like everything online business you have to invest upfront people need to see that you are serious people need to see that you are at this thing for you know for value before they can trust you with their money whether it's as an affiliate or you know sponsorships and even google access before google can you know allow you to become part of the program you have to show that some quality content over a period of time to be accepted and the time can be from 
you know, from one month to one year. But I recommend that you should focus on creating quality content for at least one year before you can start pivoting into making money. All right. Okay. So let me go straight into these topics. I think that are really, really interesting. Number one is agriculture. You know, um, these are industries now. Agriculture is very wide. Any part of agriculture you choose to blog about, especially if, if you're African, is going to blow. We don't have a lot of agricultural bloggers. I remember somebody asking me over and over, do you have anybody who blogs about poetry and stuff? And I didn't have somebody, you know, to let the person know. Somebody had even asked me some years ago if somebody deals on dogs and in maintenance and caring for them. I didn't have any blogger in my network who was blogging that. I remember a time it was an automobile. A friend of mine finally started an automobile brand, you know, I mean blog, right? So agriculture is so important. If you start on any adult agriculture that you have experience in, trust me, you're gonna get a lot of clicks and you're gonna get a lot of, you're gonna build a community faster. Okay, number two, how to start up a business. That is gonna be evergreen. People will always want to start a business. People will always want to leave their nine to five job. So if you're going to give people strategies, tactics, how to bootstrap to start their business, it's gonna grow. It's gonna become a big deal, you know, if your blog is focused on that. Number three, if your blog is focused on letting people know affordable flights and hotels, people who are traveling, trust me, people are constantly searching for lower prices, lower hotels and all that, you're going to make it, right? And these are the kind of blogs that people will always come back to. So someone has searched and found rates, they're going to come back to see whether you have an update. So the same person might come back to that blog 10 times in a day or in a, in a week. You know what I mean? So don't sleep on this. Number four, cooking. Any aspect of cooking, right? It's gonna get hits. It is gonna get some hits. So people want to learn other people's delicacies, learn how to cook stuff, learn how to improve on their skills. Okay. Some guys also want to just take the bull by the horn and get this skill. Some guys, some ladies who do who didn't grow up learning how to cook also want to learn. Everybody wants to learn how to cook something at some point, and they will always find blogs like that. The next one is event planning. If you're able to tell people how you run your event planning business, you know, the, the, all the moving parts and share it, you know, people will want to follow because they want to see the good things you do. They want to also learn how you're doing what you're doing and more. Number seven, every aspect of fashion sales, makeup, natural hair, hair maintenance, whatever, clothing, shoes, jewelry, any aspect of fashion is going to blow as a channel. And I have a lot of people who have done fashion or are still doing fashion. They're making it, you know, yeah. But make sure that you niche down. Don't just have a fashion blog. Focus on a particular aspect of fashion and give it your best. Even if it's accessories, focus on accessories and give it your best shots, okay? The next niche I want you to check out is football. Football, eh. Football is always going to be a boss all year round there's something happening in football i mean it's a multi-billion dollar industry so what are we talking about so take your own pie by being an industry expert in that field in that industry blogging about you know choose that you know whether your matches you're reviewing you're commenting you are streaming this live um, your streaming live matches whatever that works Please go ahead or you're even interviewing players or you know you know whatever it is make sure that you can do what you can and be unique at it and you're gonna definitely break through the ninth one is healthy eating if you if your blog can teach us how to eat well how to eat the kind of things to eat that are healthy because all around us we find the junks easily if for people who want to live a better life improve the quality of their lives they want to eat healthy so if your blog is going to focus on telling us every day every week how to eat healthy it's gonna do well it's gonna do well trust me the next one a blog that focuses on job search if you're going to tell us where there are vacancies, you know, criteria for jobs, all of that, you know, improving our CV, trust me, your blog is gonna do well. Yes. Also, if you're gonna teach us how to use natural remedies, natural plants, herbs, and all of those things, things like Moringa, the benefits of it, how to eat it right, you know, 
how it's good for our body, how to eat bitter leaf, bitter cola, all of these things that are indigenous to Africa in particular that are so medicinal and can elongate life. If you can let us know how to make use of these herbs, the right combinations, you know, what they can cure or what they can prevent, trust me, boo, you're going to make it. Your blog is going to take off in a short time. Yes, that's a good niche. Next, anything that has to do with new babies, you know, teaching first time moms or even, you know, other moms, the things that they need to welcome their baby, it will sell. A baby blog is something that I haven't really quite seen who is doing it in, in my country. And I think it's going to blow up. Baby list blog. My God, it's going to be amazing. Baby care, you know, just before the baby comes, all the things that the mother needs to know. And even until when the baby comes, if your blog focuses on that, trust me, it's going to blow up in a short time. Yes. Next, anything that will help men get, you know, bigger penises. Penis enlargement. <laughs> Sis, guys, you know already that it's going to blow up. I don't know for any reason, but, you know, <sighs> Guys, why do you guys think that science matter? Anyway, that's a topic for another another time. But the truth is that there's a multi-billion dollar industry. People trying to get their sizes, you know, much higher to satisfy their women, you know, for whatever reason. To even look good in the in all of those GQ <laughs> magazine photo shoots, whatever. Yeah, people are looking at crouches now. Mm -hmm. You heard it here. Okay, so that kind of blog will do well. Any blog that focuses on prayer points, oh my god, morning devotions, prayer points. <laughs> Knowing how religious Africa is and Nigeria and everywhere in the world, it's going to blow up. What have you been looking for? What have you been waiting for? All of those prayers, compile them, let people know, let them answer amen in the comment section. Your blog is going to do well. Mm -hmm. It's going to do well. Next, relationship and marriage advice blogs always do well because people want to improve their relationship, people want to be happy, right? So if you can give people quality advice, yes, they're going to stick around longer and they're going to grow as a community. Now, anything that has to do with skincare, how to remove acne, scars from the body, all of those kind of, even up to enhancement and cosmetic surgery, it's going to blow up. Have you heard how much people are spending now to, you know, get their bodies fixed? <laughs> you don't want to know, especially women. Please go ahead if you have experience in that or you're even a cosmetic surgeon or you're a dermatologist. Go ahead and start that blog already. Okay? It's not There are not a lot of it. So go ahead and do it. Next, any blog that focuses on sexual health and family, fertility, you know, how to get pregnant and all of that, how to select the sex of a child, all of those kind of things is gonna blow up. It's an everyday problem. It's an everyday problem. If you have an everyday problem, people will come back over and over and over again and it's gonna keep solving the problems down the generations. Blogging is one thing I think that you should do right so that you can wheel it to your children and whoever you want to empower when you're old. It is that important. Yes. Also, sports betting. As much as I don't really have an experience in that, I'm kind of weary about it. But sports betting is something you can't deny. A lot of people are making a huge sum of money you know, running sport betting sites and all of that, uh, even shops. So, I mean, if you have experience in it, why not? You know, let the world know why it's such a big deal. Run your blog as a sport betting site and it's going to be fantastic. Trust me. Also, this one is something that I can't deny. If you run a blog that tells people about sugar mummies, how to connect with sugar mummies and all of that, as weird as I think it is, <laughs> it's blowing up. This is sex sells, so <sighs> I guess that's a no-brainer, right? A lot of people, I see a lot of things on social media, people advertising themselves that they're looking for guys, guys are looking for ladies, so go ahead. Anyway, any blog that has to also do with table manner, etiquette and uh, elegance, will sell it will sell guys go ahead if you have experience in teaching people poise how to carry themselves you know all of those things that make people very confident you know when they are with other people go ahead and teach it on your blog and it's going to do well yeah a lot of people want that but they don't know where to go to now if you're also going to do tutorials on tech tech gadgets devices tutorials um, you know gadgets in general Man, that's a hot, hot, hot niche. Start it already. Buy a piece of tech, maybe a phone, an iPhone, something, Infinix phone. 
and make a review of it. Start with anything you have. You know, you have um, smartphones, you have laptops, you have um, storage devices. Go ahead, review them, do it your own way on your blog, and it's gonna pick. It can even be price comparisons, how to buy um, gadgets, all of those things, comparing the features of gadgets and all that, you know what to do. Go ahead and do that if that's totally your thing. The next one is travel abroad. Guys, in my country, we are currently in a Japa season, what we call Japa season, like everybody, literally, it seems everybody is jetting out of this country. Why we're not talking about the causes of that? Um, blogs, videos that are helping people to secure visas and relocation and to passport, like my country, you can have dual citizenships. Guys, it is blowing up. Even here on YouTube, when you do relocation videos, it takes off like boom. So yes, if you have experience doing that, why not? Go ahead and educate us on your blog and it's gonna blow up. Educational admissions and scholarships. I know some guys who run blogs in this niche who are cashing out in millions every week. And I'm not even kidding. Like I said, if your blog is something that people will always want to come back to check updates, to check again and again in a day, in, in a week, it can't go wrong. Okay, I know there are other fantastic niches out there, but these 22 are the ones I had to select after scrutiny from my experience, from seeing it happen and seeing the need so I can totally bet my Sticks on these. All right, any of these topics you choose to create your blog in will do well. Remember what I said in the beginning make sure you have the stay at it attitude, make sure you know, understand the basics, and then keep doing that consistently. Make sure that being a, um, make sure that you are ready to be a blogger before you become a blogger. Also, make sure that you, under, you learn business sense how online business works because you need to put in that business sense in bootstrapping your, your blog and beginning to make money you know, after a while. Okay, did this make sense to you? Until I come here again, keep being fantastic. Go right now. If you want to learn how to set up a blog, you need help, you need someone to coach you, you need someone who has been successful, coach you. Let me in the comment section. I am going to you know, share with you a link that I'm an affiliate where you can learn all that you need to make a successful blog. All right, take care.